Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will learn how to add multiple markers to your map and also zoom in to the particular position in your map. So here what I've done here is that in order to save time I have added uh, already added this code right here. So let's go through each and every line of code and what it means. So the first thing which we have done is that we have added another marker. So you basically create the latlang object and here I've called it as location 2 which is the new location location which I have added. So I have added two new coordinates over here which are different from this coordinate. So this position is actually right beside the previous position. And then I have basically added the marker and I have named the marker as Ashitosh's new location. And then what I have done here is that I have basically used the camera update factory to move the camera to that particular location. And then finally uh, this line of code right here is to basically zoom in into the map. So here we have created the camera update object which is zoom. So we have named that object as zoom and we have initialized the zoom to a factor of 11. So as long as you keep on increasing the zoom factor it's actually going to zoom in more into your map. So I thought 11 would be an appropriate number to choose so I have chosen 11 and it actually zooms in quite well into your location. So the next thing which you need to do is that once we have this object you need to zoom in into that particular thing. So I have used M map, which is the map object and I've moved the camera to that position and animate camera is basically a method which is going to give you an animated feel of moving the camera to that particular location. So once we have added this code, what you could do is that you could simply save the code and run this application and see how this thing actually works. So as you could see, the application is up and running on the device and currently we have two pointers uh, one on the left and one on the right and when I click on first one it says Ashitosh location and the second one says Ashitosh new location. So that's it for this lecture and we have learned pretty much the basics about Google Maps application. So in the upcoming sections we will jump into more depth into Google Maps application and the reason why I'm not continuing the in-depth tutorial of Google Maps is because uh, when you make actual applications what you need to do is that you need to go ahead and uh, you need to actually extract these locations from databases and then display onto the Google Maps. So that's actually a quite a bit of challenging task. So we first need to understand about the different databases and how to retrieve data from the databases. So we will be learning more about these things in depth once we study Firebase. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.